like this. I just washed it and then I slept on it and it looks dumb, I need to fix it. Anyway, hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle in the bedroom. <laughs> this is a different spot than usual. Um, if you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have an interesting video for you. I am going to show you what I've got going on behind me here because today is finally the day that David's gonna put up the shelves. So they're gonna be like much further out this way and like much taller than what we've got going on now. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we've got going on now and then get to the process because I have to clean everything out of here and take all these plants out of here and this shelving out of here so that he can put the new ones up. Yay! Okay, so here's what we've got going on in the bedroom. We've got my cabinet over here and that's a mess. I need to clean that as well the cat tree and then I have a lot of stuff going on over here so this is my old laundry basket from my bedroom that I need to still go through and clean it's fine and some plants just hanging out on top of it nothing out of the ordinary so this is a shelving unit that I brought with me from New York and it was always meant to just be temporary because it is very like small and we have a lot of a lot of wall there's a lot of empty wall so the shelves are going to come out to like here um and they're going to go up just a little bit higher than where they are and then i have to figure out a way to get like something up here to hang some plants I haven't decided yet if I want to hang something from up here or if I want to build like kind of a railing up and over the top of the shelves to hang stuff a little bit lower I don't know I haven't decided yet I'll have to show you when we're done and then you guys will let me know what you think so I wanted to show you what I have going on on these shelves it's been a little while since I showed you I've got my neon pothos hanging out over there, my Baltic Blue, my gorgeous ficus from Trader Joe's that's working on another leaf in there and leaves need to be dusted. Down here I have my variegated, oop, knocked something over, I want my little shroomy, knocked over my little shroomy shroom. Um, my variegated string of hearts is pretty long i knocked it over again i just picked up this from world market i thought it was really cute it's like a halloween decoration but i don't i don't know i don't think it's a halloween decoration i'm gonna leave it up all the time i thought it was really pretty um and then i've got my aglionema ghost frosted frosted ghost frosty the ghost um, and it's doing really well over here and putting out lots of new leaves. Absolutely love this one. My string of pearls is like kind of on the struggle bus. So I propagated some. Um, it's fine down here and it's growing, but the top is just like dying off, which is unfortunate. And there's like some mealybugs, so that's not helpful. I should probably just chop the whole thing and start over but I don't really have the head for that and then I've got my marble queen over here she puts out some really stunning leaves for me on this shelf here we have my aglionema chocolate behind it we have the monstera pinati partita I might have to put this in the greenhouse it's just kind of like not doing anything over here and then I have my Peperomia Incana that I just cut recently. It's got lots of new little growth points. It was getting too long. I actually have the top cutting in moss hanging out over here. Haven't decided yet if I want to sell it or if I want to 
repot it because this is my original cutting that David gave me a while ago, years ago, like over a year ago. Uh, my Monstera Peru is going to be a lot happier with a little bit more space because she's been growing. Got a vine there and a vine here with some new growth. And then back here we have my other Aglionema that always has mealybugs, so I need to take her out and clean her up. She's got a little bit right here. But that's fine. I've been keeping it under control for the most part. And then here in my modern botanical frames, I have to put the rest of them up on the wall. I just have them sitting on the shelves for now. Um, I have this Syndopsis Silver Hero. I was actually thinking about hanging these up like over here and like maybe up over the door. Um, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. Hi, I look like a mess. Anyway. <laughs> So then in here I have my uh, Syngonium Albo and then I had the Syngonium Confetti, the pink like splashy one, and it died back and reverted to green. So I don't know, I'm hoping that maybe her new leaves will come in like as she matures with her pink again, but the Albo seems really happy here. I have them in water because I suck at remembering to water my Syngoniums, but I might try to pot it up once we have the shelves up and everything. I've got my smudge stick here because it looks pretty. All my little crystals and stuff here that I absolutely love, love, love. Always looking for new cute ones. And then down here I have my Orbifolia. You guys know how much I love her. My cat has been making a snack out of her, so that's why I have all this stuff piled up here. And then this was my original ficus. So it looks like he nibbled on that too, which isn't good, but thankfully he didn't get sick from it. Um, Orbifolia is not toxic. Ficus is definitely toxic. I have more, I forget what this is called but it's pretty cool because it just like naturally forms this way it's kind of like a ufo shape and this is the other half of this stone that when you open it up it looks it looked like a sun that one so i got it if you guys remember it, the balls and sandies pop up so this was my original ficus benjamina eldorado with like the marble variegation the one that David forgot to water so it died back and the new leaves grew in mostly green some of the new growth is coming in a little bit variegated but not quite so I moved this one to the bedroom because they got a new one that's very very variegated but hopefully maybe this one will give us some variegation back again and then I have my um Pothos, what is this one? The golden whatever? Yeah, something like that. My Manjula over here. And then I have this Dracaena that my cat made a snack out of is finally putting out <laughs> some new leaves. So as you can tell, my cat likes to nibble the leaves so I can't keep any plants down there and I've kind of created like a wall of crap <laughs> these are clean clothes that I need to put away judge me if you want to crash has a hidey hole down here and his cactus scratching post so what I need to do basically is get all of this stuff moved and then we have these baskets from Ikea that are actually gonna go along the bottom of the shelves and we have a new carpet that's gonna go down today so I'm pretty excited basically my current task is to get all of this out of here oh, here's my Syngonium Wendlandii too by the way this is one of the plants that I would like to be able to like hang up here but I don't know we're gonna have to see there's lots of different ways that I'm gonna be able to style the new shelves 
It's honestly probably going to take me weeks to get the shelves looking the way that I want them to because I'll just sit and stare at them and rearrange things. Um, and I have a lot of new plants that I just got in the mail that were imported from Aroid Asia that are going to live on these shelves for the most part as well. So I got to get them like all potted up and looking cute and ready to go to their new home. So I'm excited because I have some plants on the dresser here too. You can see I have my Calathea Makoyana and my Hamalamina Selby that looks like she's finally starting to get herself together. Her leaves are still coming in a little bit wonky, but the good thing about the shelves that we're building in here is that I was able to customize what I wanted them to look like. So there is going to be a big empty spot right in the middle of the shelves where I'm gonna put the humidifier and some taller stuff and whatever, you know, and a, a light, I'm gonna hang a light. So you'll see what I mean. I'll see if David still has the drawing that I did so I can show you um, so you guys kind of know what to expect but i have a lot of hanging plants up here and if you can see they're getting too much light like this exotica is getting too much light this um, pothos is getting too much light so i want to move a lot of these hanging things to over here because these are west facing and it's just too bright it's way 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 too bright but over here is really nice as you can see a lot of the plants are kind of trying to face this way that is why i have some grow lights on the other side here to kind of like balance it out so we have we're gonna have some 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 stuff to work out but let's clean this up first <music>
Push big big belly pull. Big big belly pull. Big 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 belly. The kids have big belly. He's so tolerant. Boy, when you want to be, I like our bench. You just sit on it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think I have enough plants for all these shelves. <laughs> you checking it out? Okay, so the shelves are up. Um, they're not what I was hoping for. Um, so this one was supposed to go across the top and then there was going to be two of these here but I thought that was too much unusable space so what I was hoping to do was add another one across the top but he attached it to the wall already so I don't know if he's going to want to do that because I wanted to have one going across the top so that I can hang a light down the middle and kind of have like this little nook cozy little nook for my plants but this is what we're looking at because otherwise this would have been open and I would have had my humidifier here and I can't put plants down here because the cat can get to them so plants can't go there unless they're small and towards the back and he can't get them but he will eat anything that I put on this shelf that's leafy so Realistically, I would have only had a small amount of space for my plants in here at the end of the day because you can't really fit much on here, but work. the lighting is really bad. I guess you're just going to see my unmade bed in the background. Yes, I'm wearing mouse ears. It's almost Halloween. Like it counts, right? So I have a humidifier here from Lavoie that I've been sitting on for months because I was waiting for some place to put it. I um, was waiting for these shelves to be done, essentially. So I have already opened it up and checked it out because I was curious, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys. So it's your pretty standard humidifier. Um, you could fill it through the top here, which is really nice and convenient or you could take this whole thing to the sink with you and fill it that way, which is what I usually do. Um, the other thing I really like about this is that you can control, let me get closer. You can control the direction that the mist goes in. So you have like this bigger one on the outside and a slightly smaller one on the inside, which is nice because 
for me, especially in the bedroom, I want to make sure that I can control which direction it's going. I don't want it just blowing onto like the top of another shelf, which is why I wanted an empty space. And I do have like some taller plants on poles and planks that I wanted to put up there. And then otherwise it's your standard humidifier. You got your on off button. You've got your mist control button so you can change the amount that comes out. Your humidity percent so you can set it at a specific percent so that it, when it gets to that point it'll shut off. Um, a timer so you can just have it on for however many hours you want. Um, you can change it to warm, which is cool because usually these are like a cool mist so you can change it to have the water be warm and then on sleep mode usually it's quieter and like it'll dim the lights usually. Um, don't quote me because I didn't actually read it, but that's usually pretty standard with humidifiers. Um, I do like Lavoit, so when they reached out to me, this is not sponsored, but they did send me this humidifier to try and review for you guys. I am sorry it took me so long. Like I said, I was waiting for um, the space to have it. So I am excited because this is a really great size. I like Lavoit. I have two of their air purifiers in the apartment that I've had for a long time, and they have been they've been good so I'm excited for this humidifier let's get it set up what do you guys think because I've got these empty shelves and I want to see what it looks like okay so let's see I'm just gonna put it right here I think that's gonna look really nice it's like the least least attractive outfit ever but they're my pajamas so <laughs> like a thousand extension cords so it'll be fine okay that's cute it actually literally fits perfectly let me show you legitimately <laughs> fits perfectly on the shelf like could not have could not have fit more perfect than that so I'm gonna get other things put on these shelves so it doesn't look weird and uh, we'll get this turned on and see how it goes. So this is what we're looking like. Obviously that's, this is all temporary until I like really organize things the way I want, but I was able to fit three baskets underneath here, which I think it's gonna be good to have some extra storage, probably for like winter clothes, sweatshirts, things along those lines that I don't really have the space for. And then this shelf is obviously very sparse right now, but I really like the look of my calatheas on here. So we're definitely gonna keep the calatheas there. And then up here, I'm loving the way that this looks. I'm gonna need to get another plant up on this tray leaf plank for the other side to match it. I feel like it's gonna look good like that the only other plant I have is my Cebu blue <laughs> and the pot that it's in does not match the decor in here so I won't be putting that one there but 
I don't know, maybe we'll try and get my um, Peru, because it is growing. Maybe we'll try and get her climbing. What do you think? I don't know. Or should I leave her trailing? She's got a lot of runners, so maybe, just maybe. Um, everything is just kind of temporary right now. This is not exactly fitting, but it's heavy enough that I think it should be fine because it needs to be on the edge so that it can trail over the side. My little tree leaf guy up in here. So I've got the ficus over there and then the other ficus over here. I thought that that looked nice and balanced. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I gotta figure out a way to hang some plants now because I was gonna have another shelf up across the top here and I put it down here instead which I'm glad that I did because I have more space now um, I just don't know like styling wise like how I'm gonna manage I did have this just like kind of hanging out up here for now which is fine that doesn't bother me but I got this all filled up with water and I wanted to turn it on with you guys, so. Boom, there we go. So what I can do is move these so that it's not, so that I have one going this way, one going that way. And this is gonna be great for us too because it gets really dry in here and I actually sleep better with a humidifier, so. Maybe the syngonium's not the best plan for right there, or we'll just have them face more forward for now, but it is coming out, and I can up it. You can see here, this is mist level one, mist level two, and mist level three. So, not mad about that. Is it just me, or does it look like it's not coming out steady um, I don't really know why that would be happening but if you know why definitely let me know and then it's sitting at 62 percent in here what you can do is set the humidity to where you want it to be obviously if it gets to higher than 80 percent I would want this to shut off that is not gonna happen it's October <laughs> but good to know that that is there and then you have your timer up here you can set it for however many hours let's see probably up to 12 hours yeah and then it goes off again and then here you can change it to warm water you'll get your little symbol here Let me see if i could feel the difference it still feels cool I'd imagine that it takes a while. Yeah, I don't know why it's not, it's not coming out like super consistent. Um, still feels cool. I'm gonna leave that on and then sleep mode. All right, bumps it down to the one mist level and then shuts off the screen. So, huh, interesting. How do we turn it off? Okay, there we go. We have a little symbol up here that lets us know sleep mode beep beep and it's going off and then we tap it again and it's gone i usually keep the mist around like one or two okay i'm kind of curious to see what happens if we leave it on warm so i don't really know why the mist setting is coming out a little screwy but having a plant up on top of here that's this big is probably not not the best plan i mean it is just a syngonium but don't usually like for the mist to be actually like blowing directly on plants so them like that all right i don't know i guess we'll see it doesn't feel like hot or anything oh you can warm it up even more oh now I'm really curious. Because I don't love the idea of the mist being cool. So I'm just kind of curious what that's like. I mean, it, it creates a nice fog. 
so that's good. But I don't have to figure out where I'm going to put this syngonium because I don't think that keeping it there is going to be the best plan. I don't want it to get like a fungal thing. But also hopefully the humidity will reach my calatheas. Those are the ones that really need it for the winter. But we're hoping that this in general is just going to up the relative humidity in here. I do have one of these, says it's 56% in here, 73 degrees. This says it's 60%. I also don't hear anything. It's very quiet, which is nice. Um, I don't mind white noise in the bedroom though. It's actually quite quiet in here now because I turned off all the fans and everything. So I'm just gonna leave this down here. Oh, I got the shelf a little wet. <laughs> we didn't seal the wood, so we have to try and not let it get soaked. Um, I'm gonna leave it down here and okay, now it says 62 weird so that we can kind of see if this is gonna have any impact let me know what you guys think in the comment section below there's definitely still a lot of work to be done here and also just like ignore my messy nightstand that I still need to clean up um, I am a little bit worried about light I might have to put the grow light back on the corner over here where I had it with the old shelves, um, like I said, we were gonna have another one across the top and I was gonna hang a light from the middle, but now we're thinking about hanging something from up here and I can still hang a light from there because we don't actually, we never use this light. I just turned it on so that you guys could see what is going on in here. But as you can see, um, you know, we have the light from the window, like I said, but when you turn off, this light which is really hard to very do. happy with the way that these look i'm gonna get this carpet up and clean the floor and then we're gonna put down the new carpet david just left to go food shopping so i am going to get the rest of this mess cleaned up <laughs> for for when he gets home okay so the, the mist was literally hot i had it on level three so i bumped it down to level one and now it's just kind of warm which is where I think I might leave it. I might put it at cool at night, maybe. I don't know. I like. I kind of like it now that it's like getting chilly willy at night too. It might be kind of nice. So there's that. I really like this function here that you can move this around. So I'm definitely, like I said, not mad at it, but the this is a nice temperature this is a nice warm temperature i think that that is the setting that i will choose to leave it on and i'm pleased the mist is going up and down and hopefully um my calatheas and my ficus and everything will be happy here i do have my little syngonium tricolor here putting out a new leaf so i'm hoping that i'll be able to keep her in the bedroom with the humidity in here uh next to the humidifier i'm hoping that she should be okay and that she's not gonna get too much light here because she's blocked by some other plants so hopefully because my cat made a snack out of it and i had to cut all the leaves off essentially except for these two and then um, it just put out this new one that's looking literally flawless. So I do not want to mess it up. And we will continue to organize as we go. My little crystal collection will inevitably grow and we'll um, keep adding more little knickknacky things to the shelves. I have some picture frames and stuff that I've been wanting to have a space um, and at least with the books stacked up I can still put a couple of plants here if he does get to it it's just a Hoya so you know he's not gonna gonna you know suffer any but this one's probably not uh, not a good plan to have there but you know we're gonna keep on organizing things and moving things around like obsessively for the next few weeks probably so <laughs> I am going to leave you here and then we can do a proper tour when things are a little bit more settled, if that's okay with you guys. 
So I hope that you love the way this looks as much as I do. I am definitely not mad at it. Let me know what plant you think I should put up on a plank next to this one here. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I will update you guys as things continue to change in here. This is going to fill up a lot more. Trust me. It is, this shelf especially is not going to look this bare. I have a lot of plants that need space to go. Uh, especially all of my new imports that just came in. So those are going to need homes. We're going to need to repot some stuff because I'm not liking the way that some of these are looking. I do have like a whole collection of pots that I've been hoarding for just this occasion. So we will get to repotting these aglionemas soon because I don't like these. I don't like these pots at all. So yeah, those are my shelves. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. And if not, there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. I had to turn you around. It's weird doing my outro without my face beating it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Leave me mouse emojis in honor of my mouse ears today. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. Um, yeah, that's it. I appreciate you guys. And I hope I see you in the next one. What do you think? Is this going to be a new background for us for some videos? It's weird because the light comes in this way. So I'd kind of have to be on like a bit of an angle like this for it to like not, um, for me to not have to set up lights over here <laughs> to counterbalance it. But I thought it would be a nice, a nice change, right? Every once in a while, if we want to film here instead of in the living room. So let me know if you like that. And thank you to Lavoit, obviously, for sending me this humidifier. I'm so glad that I was finally able to get it up on the shelves. I think it looks so good here. Like it literally fits the space perfectly. Could not have worked out better in my opinion. So I will leave the link for that so you guys can check it out if you're interested in purchasing the same one that I have. They have bigger ones, smaller ones. They've got ones for everything. Definitely recommend Lavoit as a company in general. Like I said, I have their air purifiers and we really like them. So now I'm mad at it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and I appreciate you fam and I hope I see you in the next one. Okay, bye.